hello soldiers welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i am going to show you how i did exploratory data analysis using python r sql tableau and microsoft excel so let's get started i took sample super store data set so which is quite small right so I need to explore myself that's why I took the small data set you can use any data set you want basically in this data set uh, you can see ship mode that means in Amazon Prime if you use Amazon Prime uh, we will get a delivery in one day right and if you won't use Amazon Prime our delivery will be late and like that in the same way we are also having shipping mode then the segment like there are customers who are ordering products or they are corporate people so like that segment so in this data set we, we are having only one country united states then city then state then postal code region category subcategory sales quantity discount and profit so first what i did i just imported the required libraries in python numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn then i am mounting google drive so i am just giving the path so in my drive i saved my csv file so that's why i'm just giving the path as you can see just you can see here these all are objects then postal code is integer region object object so all these things you can see we are having 9994 entries and 13 columns so as you can see all these things and we don't have any null values as i told you i took a very small data set right uh, these are the questions which I am going to get the answers with with the with the help of those questions. So you can read this complete Python file. I'll give you all the links in the description box below. You can check them out. So if I read all this code, it it will take a lot of time, right? Uh, I did basic group by here right I'll just show you so as you can see here I just did a group by and then I just plotted the graph no chart so here I used a this is also we can use pivot table in python also so this is one of uh, pandas library pivot underscore table so see you can see how nicely the table came then i plotted another chart i gave conclusions also you can read them so this is how we did using python now i'll show you what i did in r so in r also i used a group by only we don't have a pivot table in r i don't i didn't search for that yeah i used group by only so you can see we are importing the required libraries here in r these are the libraries tidyverse lubridate so the first library will do all the things and the second one lubridate is for time date all these purposes ggplot2 is for plotting purposes so you can check them out you can just need to google them that's it here i am just importing our data set so i am using kaggle for r so that's why I just search for the data set 
and I'm importing that. So you can see the data here. So you can see I used group by here also. The syntax will be little bit different, but the functionality is same. So you can see I also plotted chart here bar plot. So you can see. So I used a group by and I plotted the chart. That's what I did. So you can go through this file. Then you can get some idea about this thing. Right. Now I'll move to Tableau one. So it's visually appealing, right? I created this dashboard in Tableau. So you can toggle them maximum profit. Right. Or it's just rotating. Okay. So you can toggle them. right as you can see you can see all the values you can use all the things right so uh, now you can see ship mode here also we are having data so this is the category wise you can go through all these things I just don't want to waste your time that's why I'm skipping little bit of parts right so this is SQL one so I just created a table called store then I'm just importing the CSV file in my case it won't work in Mac this thing won't work so I imported it manually so this is a data set here also the same thing so I gave all those information one by one you can check them out so this is what we done in SQL now I'll show you final one that is Excel one. So here I just wrote ship mode where my graph and yeah you can see I used a pivot table here. Yeah, most of the times I use pivot table only. That's okay. All these things you can see. I'll give this file also in the description box below. So you also try doing EDA on Excel, Tableau, SQL. Once you get the knowledge, then you can like do EDA on one tool only, but you need to get an idea how you are doing EDA on all different types of tools, right? Yeah, that's it for now. Meet you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.